Hi guys, welcome to another unboxing with Mel. I'm sorry about the lack of unboxings lately. I have been sick for the past week. I am still a bit sick, um, but my Landfall Freight, um, Level Up, and Arcade Block have arrived, so I would like to unbox them, but I'm still quite ill, so please be kind about comments about how I look. Um, I know my nose is falling apart, and I feel like crap, but <laughs> I'm still going to unbox this box. Um, I'm trying to cheer myself up by wearing my really cool t-shirt with Sailor Moon, and, um, Twilight Sparkle mashup. So that's quite a cool. So magical girls with magical ponies. So, Landfall Freight arrived today. Something is inside making a noise. Box looks like it's seen better days. Someone's beat it up. So hopefully everything has arrived okay. It does say there's a mug in there and I hope it's not broken because I'm going to be really upset if it is broken. I'm sorry, Landfall Freight. <laughs> Hopefully, the UK Post Office was nice to you. Oh, I haven't cut all the tape. Whoops. <laughs> you can tell I'm sick, guys, because usually I check before I go to unbox, and I didn't because I am so sick. And I think they had to really seal this one because it is pretty, feels pretty packed. The box is actually bursting a little bit, so hopefully. It was good stuff. Rumor last month um, was really good, and it was actually one of my favorite boxes I've ever gotten. So, because it had giant days in it, which I ended up loving. So that's great. So when you open up the box, this is what you're gonna see. Not very much. Oh. Oh, it's got a little card. Okay, that's neat. So it says, "Dearest Rose." Thank you for your being par part of one of the best days of my life. We hope you enjoy the comics and we hope all is well with you and yours. Matt. I'm not Rose, so hopefully <laughs> that doesn't direct at me. I'm assuming it's to do with one of the books. Um, I'm going to move the spoiler card away. So you always get the, <coughs> the blue paper here. Sorry guys, I am going to cough throughout this because I'm, I'm still sick. Um, so we move that out of the way, and we're not going to look, because Melissa does not want to look yet, so then you're going to see this, so. Oh, good. That looks like my mug is, okay. I think I'm going to grab that first. Oh, my goodness. Oh, wow, it's big. Okay. Let's just take up most of the box, okay? <laughs> All right, so. This is, i got our lollipop inside. So that's our caramel lollipop we always get. It looks like my mug is okay. So yay, made it. Good work on packing landfall freight. We have lots of bubble wrap as well, which I will use for my rags box probably. It says your life energy will be totally filled. Drink potion, yes or no. Um, oh I forgot to mention this month's theme is you got gang girl. <laughs> so hopefully that will reflect what it is. I like this. I actually have a similar little jar thing with the hearts on. I got, oh, I don't even remember which box I got it in. Sorry, guys. I think it was probably an arcade block. It seems like an arcade block item. But yeah, I like that. That's quite cool. Never gotten a mug yet from Landfall Freight, so that is awesome. Completely unlike them. Okay, and then we have this, which I think might be to package the mug. No, there's nothing in here. This is just a more bubble wrap. I'll use that. That was a cushion the mug, apparently. And what do we got? Okay. I'm gonna move the books out of the way. We've got a little book plate that says Peach Power. <laughs> uh, Landfall Entertainment System. That's quite sweet. And Peach is actually throwing fireballs. Yay, she's got a good power rather than just being able to fly with her umbrella. Which is always not very good power. Ooh, you've got like a little art print. I don't know what of, but it's quite pretty. Mm, I'm trying to determine if I know, but it looks like some kind of futuristic space thing. I quite like the picture. Colors are nice. Okay. I'm going to go for the thing at the bottom so I can see where that is. So we've got Tomb Raider number one. 
okay. I've not read any Tomb Raider. I have played the newer game, but I didn't really get into it. I got really annoyed with, like, the fact everybody seemed to want to kill her and, like, well, have sex with her. Um, not in a nice way. I don't really want to talk about that, but, um, yeah. I probably will read this. This is probably the most disappointing one, because I, I like not so mainstream comics. I think this is quite mainstream. I don't think we've ever gotten a Dark Horse in um, Uncle Frey. And they said the other book was um, early release for April. So, oh, there's something else. Okay, let's do that first. So, <coughs> sorry guys. Um, Medusa Dollmaker, it says on here. And it's got a little ribbon around it. I can I get into it without scissors? No, I cannot, because I'm too weak at the moment. I haven't been eating all week either, guys. I've been really, really sick. So I am quite weak and frail right now. And I'm still sick. <laughs> so, be nice with your comments. <laughs> I wanted to open this really badly, because I'm just feeling not that great. And I needed something to cheer me up. So, uh, I'm trying to desperately get into this, but I'm not very good. Oh, I can't do it. I'm too weak. Um, so I guess I have to cut more tape because I can't get into it. <laughs> uh, I feel so pathetic, guys. I really do. It could be worse, though. I could have to go, like, to work today, and I think I would have been horrible at work today. Luckily, it's now the weekend. <laughs> I don't have to worry about it for a few. I cannot get this open. Seriously, it's like I don't take the ribbon thing off of it. I think that's part of the problem. I cannot get it open for the life of me, guys. You gotta make it easy for me. I'm not that good at like opening stuff. <laughs> and I even like presents and stuff. I'm really bad at it normally. Okay. I finally got into it. Oh, it's a lovely bookmark. So it's a bookmark. This gamer. Oh, I like that. She looks like Ariel. She's got huge headphones on, like a Greek type dress, potato chips, which all gamers have, a uh, Nintendo like, Game Boy type thing there, a keyboard, and on the back, it's got all sorts of Nintendo stuff like Link and the plants. And I <laughs> like it's Sonic, but it's a really like cute hedgehog. I like that a lot. And Mario and the mushrooms. That is adorable. I really like that. I've probably used that. I really like that lamp Humphrey. That's sweet. Okay. Took me forever to get into it, but I enjoy it. And then we've got it's quite a thick book, it feels like. Okay. And this is the last item in the box. And they always come wrapped in this um I'll just move the box so, Oh, sorry, cat. I didn't mean to scare you. You're right. Cat's like, ooh, free box. Don't go in there. There's sparkles. You'll get sparkly. <laughs> She's going to be covered in sparkles. Ooh. Ooh, this looks awesome. Chain Mail Bikini Anthology of Women Gamers. This looks amazing. Wow, I'm I'm blown away. This looks awesome. I was trying to figure out what book you were sending Land of All Freight because I thought, oh, I don't want to buy the same one as them. But then they said it was um, an early release. And it's like, well, I'm unlikely to. It says, the comics in Chainmail um, Bikini explore the wide range of games their creators enjoy from Animal Crossing, yay, to The Sims, yay, <laughs> to fighting games like Take On. Tabletop games like Dungeons and Dragons, card games like Magic the Gathering, and live action role play. Many of the comics touch the personal ways in which the games can inter intersect with heartbreak, gender identity, mental illness, and growing up. Oh my goodness, this sounds awesome. Oh, I'm a little disappointed with the uh, Tomb Raider, but maybe I, this is probably going to make up for it for me. This just looks like such a cool cover as well. Look how cool these girls look. Look at it. That's so awesome. Oh, this sounds cool. Yeah, I'm happy. 
I'm very happy again, Landfall Fright. Oh my god, look at the guy now. Look at I like the dresses Pokemon Master. <laughs> I like that a lot. And this sounds cool. And I like that all the drawing styles are different and there's an anthology of people doing different stuff. It this looks really cool. I'm happy with this. And as um you guys said you got, you arranged it early, so this wasn't supposed to come out till April. We're getting it early, so that's awesome. So we got Chainmail Bikini. Sounds awesome. Awesome bookmark. Tomb Raider, number one, which I will try reading. I'm not opposed to reading it. I just don't think I'm probably going to like it that much because I didn't like the games. I just thought, even though they're supposed to be about a female protagonist, I thought they still were very, very male per male world view, really. It's like, um, mostly that she's a female hero, thus it's very easy to defeat her by raping her which it, it just seemed horrible in the games. It just seemed that's what, like, every everyone just thought, instead of trying to beat her up, let's have sex with her. And I hate that in video games. I really do. I find that so offensive. Um, yeah, it's just, it's just one of those things about how society is, isn't it, guys? Um, so, yeah, I'm a little surprised at Landfall Freight. I, I don't think it's promoting, really, but... It's like what it's what Tomb Raider is, isn't it? In some ways, unfortunately, I'm I don't know if the game improved after that. I only played for about an hour, but that's what my gist was of it. That that's what people wanted to do to her, and that's horrible. Um, we have our little art print. Oh, I should look at the spoiler card tonight. I, I am so sick, guys. I told you, you got gang girl. Protecting the Galactic Federation, hunting for ancient treasures, defeating King Koopa, building a successful colony, marauding dungeons, throwing a Yahtzee. Games like comics are fun and great way to try another character a different life. Alone or with friends, this month we celebrate games and women who play them, make them, and populate them. Game on, girls. Uh, I'll just see if there's anything interesting. Do, 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 Oh, apparently Tomb Raider's their favorite game, okay. Maybe the earlier ones was better. I, I never played the earlier ones, so. I love the complicated puzzles. Love not having to shoot too many things. Love Laura's, um, premise, acrobat, precise acrobat acrobatic moves and her male design giant <laughs> memory sometimes got in the way of all my fun yeah um it was clear laura was created to please someone else very true yes there we go um oh wow so the author of one summer and skim is writing tomb raider well that that changes things a bit because they are not going to portray her in the sexy male fantasy way. So that's that's really good. I'm actually just about to read this one summer, and I have read Skim. So that's good. That's good. So I see why you've included it in Landfall Fray. I, I understand that. Okay. Life Energy Mug. Um, we designed a mug that will let you pretend you're gaming every morning. When you drink, will you drink the potion, coffee, tea? Or whiskey. <laughs> Don't drink any of them. Sorry, guys. It's very disappointing. Um, Medusa doll maker. Bookmark. We're in love with this bookmark. Love. <laughs> uh, commissioned art print. What do I do with that? Uh, super cool vision of girls reading comics and gaming in the future. Oh, of course. She's reading on her phone. Um, her landfall. No chain mail, bikinis, or less supported... Support a spaghetti tank top of women look like they could actually kick butt instead of a game with a lone play one. Yes. Didn't mention your little card there, but that's fine. Um, and I still don't. I, I don't get this. <laughs> what is this? Um, am I confused? Dearest Rose, thank you for being part of one of the best days of my life. I think you guys sent this to the wrong person. I'm not Rose. <laughs> I don't know what this is from, guys. I'm, I'm assuming it's a reference to something. 
I don't know who Rose and Matt are. Please explain <laughs> if you know, because I don't know. Um, yeah, and it doesn't say on the spoiler card, so I don't know what it is. Okay, guys, that was Landfall Freight for this month, which is, is it? Oh, this would be February Landfall Freight. Sorry, guys, I'm getting confused because we are in March now, but it takes a while to get to me. This was February Landfall Freight. And that was a good box. I'm very happy with it. Favorite thing is the Chainmail Bikini book, of course. Um, so, thanks for watching, guys. Please subscribe to my channel. Feel bad for me because I'm really sick and still recording. But it's fine. I'll get through it. Um, I'll eventually recover. I'm going to try and do my other two unboxings as well. I need to do a book review um, of my 100 book challenge really badly. But I think I'm going to leave it because I'm just too sick. <laughs> so, thanks for watching, guys. Bye. <laughs>